we will start with the mounting of the cooler. The bracket is the same as in the AM4 socket. So any cooler that uses the standard bracket or the standard backplate should be compatible with the new socket from AMD. However, there is a little trick to it. As you can see, the back plate doesn't fall because the socket is mounted on it too. So if you have a cooler that uh, expects to remove uh, the standard back plate, it won't fit. But we have a Noctua mounting. So Your, it is your standard Noctua mounting for M4. You mount the standoffs, you mount supports and the brackets for the core. Just keep in mind that if the core is very large, it may have problems fitting on this motherboard specifically because of the large radiator for the topmost M.2 Gen 5 slot. And that's why we will mount the SSD first because removing this later might be a problem. As you can see, we have double tapes for cooling on both sides of the SSD. And also some quick release mounting from Gigabyte now, not only from MSI. And we're removing this. Our SSD is only Gen 4 because there are still no PCI Express Gen 5 drives on the market. For the thermal paste with KPX, which some say is the best thermal paste out there. We'll see. Maybe a bit more. And now it's time to mount the core. So just align it with the standoffs on the brackets and tighten. And yes, we did use another kit, not the original black one with the Noctua. 
because it's mounted on another PC. Finally, the fans just slide and clip and slide and cl clip clip okay fortunately this motherboard has a lot of fun connectors so we don't need the Y splitter for this too like this and we face a little and that's fortunately a little problem and that is the back fan hits the radiator for the VRM but it's not a big problem because it's just several millimeters in height on the top so you might have problems if you have a bigger air core please like and subscribe to our channel have a nice day